Okay, so here we are. We're just near the exit to the Tears of the Fallen. Um, <coughs> excuse me, which is another small little, oh shit, uh, outpost. This one, it's like a little swamp in the middle of it on this one, and it, no, not swamp, sorry, it's like a little lake. And, uh, it's full of, uh, scales everywhere. We're just going to be passing right on through. I don't know why it's called Tears of the Fallen. I think that it's the idea is that the lakes sort of are the tears or something like that. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, there's loads and loads and loads of scales and stuff. And they're very annoying. They strip my enchantment, so I can't really do much about that. Anyway, I'll super speed it on the rest of our walk, shall I? It looks nice in the pool. Little starfish and stuff in there. Ah, uh, see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I've just been running from this Drake for ages, and he's still chasing me. Go away! They hit so much damage with their lightning orbs. Yeah, finally, he's running off. Good. Hmm. The Where's the exit? I thought the exit was north somewhere, but I haven't seen a way that I can walk. It must be over here. Which means I've just gone the long way around, but oh well. Ugh, another Drake. <coughs> yeah, here's the exit. So, this is the Tormark Wilderness again. Uh, we were here before. If you remember, this is um, the area. one of the areas we ran through on the way to the Maguma. <coughs> and uh, I showed you a place that has like a secret passage under the river. Uh, that we couldn't go in yet, but we will eventually be able to. And... Um, where we're standing right now actually will eventually become a huge Shining Blade base when they move out of the Hinge of Den Ravi later on uh, this is where they'll come and that's a part of the uh, Guild Wars Beyond chapter again so it's nice to remember places like this so that you can see how much they've changed when we come back but uh, until then we'll just go in through this forest with all these Minotaurs, Minotaurs, whatever And they really don't pose a threat, obviously, because they, uh, they're they melee characters. I think I just went the wrong way. Damn it. Yeah, I've got to go up here. Okay, so here we are at that river that's got the, the passage under it again. Um, <coughs> we're going back this way. Past these imps, back into the Black Curtain, which is the big swamp. With all the undead everywhere. In fact, you know what? I don't think I've ever, on any of my other characters, ran this way through, the, through this explorable area. I don't think I've ever done it. I've always been going the other way. It was quite weird going back in this direction. Because usually I just go to the Temple of the Ages straight away. But when I was sort of looking at uh, all the quests in Kryta before I did this region, I realised that this is the actual order you're meant to do it in. Because when you get to the temple, um, the quests there uh, all relate to sort of after you realise the White Mantle were bad. So to go there straight away in Kryta wouldn't make much sense if you're doing it just for the story so or if I ever did miss it I would have walked there from the um, the Bergen Hot Springs because that's probably a little bit closer this way is easier I would say because there's less enemies except maybe in this this one instance there's less enemies the whole way through though so oh, I don't like these bridges 
Whoa. How am I meant to get through there? Oh, I'm not. The temple should be straight ahead. Yep, I can see the sign. There we go. This is the little courtyard out the front. Remember this temple, that person we were speaking to at the Bergen Hot Springs told us about this. This temple's fallen into disuse and not many people uh, come here anymore <coughs> because they've all uh, forsaken the old gods in Kryta because um, they now worship the Unseen Ones, you know, with the white mantle. So this isn't uh, as nice as it once was, perhaps, but um, it's still uh, working. So this place is, once you've completed the original game, you can come back here and uh, speak to the avatars of the gods, and they'll let you go into their realms. So you can do that with Grenth, and you can also do that with Balthazar. So as a result, this is one of the end game places, so there's usually a lot of players here, which is quite nice. Um, Crichton Herald says, Since the undead have arrived, scouts have reported the presence of six other terrifying creatures. The Great Minotaur Rage Maulhoof, Two Scale Brothers, Thrash the Cold, and Gak Mindwrecker. Even a few Winglord Karomi have been spotted in the area. Worse yet, nature itself rebels against the undead presence. The Tree of Judgment grows in the south, and a shadow of death lurks in the darkest corner. So I think he's just talking about uh, things you can kill in the swamp. Someone here called Brother Theophilius. He says that the righteous are always persecuted and the humble are always mocked. If this is the path chosen for us by the gods, then it is the one we, we shall walk. But, you, but, but know this, though the road is rocky, you will never be alone. What's troubling you, my child? Tell me about this place. I shall be happy to share what meager wisdom I possess. How old is this temple? This temple is as old as Kryta itself. Even before the tribes were united into a single kingdom, it was known to all that these swamps were sacred, a final resting place for the dead. Grenth was the first god to have a statue here, but the others were erected soon after, because Grenth is the god of death, of course, so if there's a giant ce uh, cemetery, then that would make sense. Before the coming of the White Mantle, many Crichtons would make a pilgrimage to the Temple of the Ages when they reached adulthood. By presenting themselves to the gods, they hope to find their true calling. What do you think of the White Mantle? The White Mantle do not concern me one way or the other. I do not wish to be distracted by worldly matters. The Temple of the Ages is a holy place where we have the opportunity to be in close communion with the gods. For me, that is enough. Teach me about the gods. Some think the gods are related to professions, which is why there are so many warriors who revere only Balthazar and rangers who serve only Melandru. This is short-sighted. Each god has something to offer everyone. When you have time, I encourage you to approach the statues and learn that for yourself. Tell me about the temple. Uh, he's already told us about that. Uh, who are you? I am no one of importance, merely one of many caretakers of the temple and a humble servant of the gods. Interesting. Uh, what is your role here? Oh, I am of no importance again. Okay, so that's a little bit of background information for you guys. Um, there's another acolyte here. It's just occurred to me, I've never spoken to these people before now, so... We must win the favour of the gods if we desire their blessings. I guess the uh, acolytes don't have much interesting to say. Okay, but... Oh, there's another person here, Keenan the Scribe. Do you say anything important? They say that ours was the first, but that the gods created other worlds after the Exodus. So the Exodus was when they left, if you remember. So it's poten so potentially there are other worlds other than Tyria. Fame, glory, celestial treasure, all can be yours in the Hall of the Heroes. We'll learn about the Hall of the Heroes some other time. Okay, so we were here to find Salma, the girl that had been getting riches from the king before the king deserted the kingdom when the Char attacked. Um, we think she could potentially be, um, she could potentially have royal blood. So let's speak to Brother Mizar. Oh no, he's got, that's a different quest. Sorry. Where are we going? Who are we speaking to? Ah, oh, we're speaking to Salma herself. This is the girl. So an interesting thing to know is she looks pretty cool, doesn't she? She doesn't look like anyone else around here. She's got a unique model. No one else looks like this. Before the first chapter of Guild Wars Beyond was released, she just had a, a like a bog standard Crichton woman model, but they've only changed it recently. 
So that's something interesting to know. Anyway, Salma, it's hard to know how to react to all of the recent troubles. Did you need my help with something? The Lost Princess. Yes, I know about my heritage. My father, the king, was always very kind to me. But when the Char attacked, he abandoned my mother and all of the people of Kryta in their hour of need. Now you want me to take his place? How can I know if I'll have the strength to lead where he did not? It is a difficult thing you ask of me, and I am uncertain. Still, if I am the only hope for the Crichton people, then I must trust in myself. Tell Watchman Arid that I will meet with him. I will do what must be done. Oh, I've got away with words convincing her so easily. Alright, so that's that quest complete. Um, before we do that, this guy had something to say, didn't he? Hello, Mizar. He says that any fool can see that these unseen gods of the White Mantle are nothing more than a ruse used by the Mantle to usurp power in Kryta. If I can obtain a copy of their most secret holy tome, the so-called Litanies of the Unseen, then I could prove them false. It is rumoured that a powerful White Mantle priest named Abbot Ramoth is journeying through the Black Curtain on a mission of some foul purpose, no doubt. If you could kill Abbot Ramoth and retrieve a copy of the Litanies of the Unseen for me, I would be very grateful. Would you assist me in this matter? Definitely, because they are false gods. We have seen the true nature of the White Mantle. Soon we shall see the true nature of their supposed gods. How may I further enlighten you? Okay, we'll accept the reward for the Lost Princess, and then we can go get those litanies. Let's quickly map travel back. Oh, and there's something else I wanted to point out as well. Uh, first, she will take the throne. This is excellent news. I will mobilize the Lion Guard and prepare an escort for her. It will take much work, but Krita will be reborn. I cannot thank you enough. If only others exhibited the same courage and, co and honor as you, the White Mantle would never have gained control of Krita. Yeah, well, what can I say? Okay, so he's given us some skills. One's called Balthazar's Aura. There's no way I'll be able to use that. That costs more energy than I actually have, so it would be impossible for me to even use. Um, and the other one's called Balanced Stance, which means we can't be knocked down and we don't take extra damage from critical hits. That is going to be very useful. You've seen the amount of times I've taken damage because uh, I've died because I kept getting knocked down. So yeah, I will definitely use that. Okay, so yeah, um, as I was about to say before I spoke to Arid there, um, we can't use Charlie as a summoning stone anymore, but uh, every, every year that your character has existed so say I created this Peter you know a year ago uh, if you open your inventory it will give you a birthday present and when you open it it will give you a little pet that you that sort of runs around at your feet it will be a miniature version of something in the game and it just so happens that in the second year uh, there was a miniature fire imp that was released which is exactly the same as Charlie was so I got hold of one so and since we haven't been using a mini pet uh, so far I figured it would be nice if we started using one now that we can't have Charlie anymore so in a way he'll kind of stay with us um, but he won't be fighting for us anymore so let's get him out shall we so you miniature fire him, you double click it and then d there he is much smaller than he used to be obviously but um, you can use him in outposts as well now which we never could before not just explorable areas you know like the tears of the fallen and stuff so um, there you go Anyway, right, so what would we what were we gonna do? Oh yes, this quest called the uh the False Gods. We're trying to ambush um one of the white mantle who's travelling through the black curtain. And we're gonna take the litanies of the unseen from him. Uh you guys will have to excuse me for a second while I quickly change my build. Alright, there we go, let's go. Hmm, alright, so this is the little place out the front. Where exactly are we looking at? Oh, he's just down there. We've just got to follow the road this way. Alright, that, that shouldn't be a big problem. Okay, here they are. I can see them. Wasn't a very long run, was it? Oh, shit! Are they going to fight the wildlife for me? Ah, uh, the abbot is a monk 
apparently. No, they're not going to fight the wildlife. For God's sake. How have they managed to ally with stupid ass plant, plant things? Ah. Ah, the monk boss came on his own. Perfect. Bring it on. Oh no, his mate saw me. I'm just going to try and kill him. Oh, it's kind of sad now that I don't have Charlie. Okay, uh, I'll try and kill the knights first. Give me a moment. Okay, they've managed to kill me. They were a lot stronger than I thought they were. So, but there's a resurrection shrine here. So what I'm going to do is just try and get the abbot on his own again. As long as I respawn here. Oh, no, no, no. Run away. Why aren't they... What? They didn't go back to where they originally were. Come on. Just the abbot. Oh, now they're all running at me except for the abbot. That's the exact opposite of what I wanted. I'll go this way. Okay. Oh, now what's fighting me? Fuck off! That was awesome. I just did so much damage to that thing. Okay. I'll pause it while I try and kill... Try and get uh, Rameth on his own, I think it's a boy, her own, whatever. Okay, I managed to do it, so I'm going to kill this Find Aloe first. So you check that out, 141 damage. Um, I'll kill him first, and th there we go. And now I should be perfectly safe to kill Rameth. As long as I have enough firepower to take her out. Yeah, it is a boy, I can see it's a man. There we go. Uh, he died. Didn't take that long. Drop the litanies of the unseen for me. Okay. So, this must be like their, their Bible or whatever. Back to the Temple of the... Oh, I didn't read this. Um, from time immemorial, the Temple of the Aegis has stood in this protected location just inland of the Divinity Coast. The elements, the elements have taken their toll on the temple, and even the statues of the gods are now little more than piles of rubble. Still, this sacred place holds a magic that attracts the bold and the adventurous. Some say that the stones themselves will rise up one day and rebuild the temple, and on that day, the gods will return once again to turn their greys upon Kryta.